Hello, welcome to Martin Made. My name's Stephanie, and I'm gonna take you back just a couple of days ago when I made ham and potatoes au gratin for supper. So like I said, I'm going to take you back just a couple of days ago. I was making supper and I decided to go ahead and film um, what we were having for supper. It is probably one of my absolute favorite recipes from my mom. She has this recipe, I don't even know where she got it from, but she um, made it for years as we were growing up and it was one of my favorites. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to make it. It is so creamy and so delicious, so here we go. Okay, so this is what it will look like. I just wanted you to know in the video I am doubling the recipe, but I will leave the recipe down below where you can get that right from there. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so for this recipe, you're gonna need one and a half cups of diced ham. You're going to need three cups of diced cooked potatoes, four tablespoons of margarine, one small onion, three tablespoons of flour, two cups of milk. So one option for the top is to use half a cup of cheese or you can use some chopped up bread along with some Parmesan cheese and a little bit of butter. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your um, onions and potatoes and you're going to put that in a pot to boil. Then you're going to take your butter and you're going to melt that down. Now another option for your onions is you could always fry your onions up with your butter before you add your flour, but I just cook them with my potatoes. Then you're gonna add your flour once it's all mixed together. Then you're going to add your milk slowly to the pot. Now you're gonna put this on medium heat and you're going to want to stir it occasionally and let it get thick. Now while all of that is cooking, you're going to take some butter, melt it down, and you are going to take your chunks of bread, and mine are frozen, so I'm just kind of pulling them apart there. And once your bread is um, ready, you can pour your Parmesan cheese over top of that. I don't measure any of this, so I just kind of add it until it looks like it'll coat it well and then I add my butter to the top. You might have to add more butter to this. You want your bread chunks to be kind of almost soppy, not soaked, but a little on the damp side because um, you want it to crisp right up. Now, once your um, sauce is thick, you're gonna. This is where you're gonna add your pepper, and you're going to add your salt to that. You're going to stir that really good, and then just set it aside. And then we're off to the potatoes. The potatoes and onions, once they're soft, you can drain those and then you can put those into your casserole dish. And then this is where you are going to add your ham. Put that into the same dish, stir it up, get it nice and mixed together. Mm -hmm. 
Now once all of that is in, you are going to take your sauce and you're going to pour your sauce over top. You want to stir that together really good till everything is completely covered in the sauce. Now it's time for your topping. You can either put the half a cup of grated cheese on or you can take and put this breadcrumb topping on um, or you could do both if you would like. It's really up to you. I like the breadcrumbs on top. Um, then you're gonna put it in your oven at 400 degrees and bake it for 20 minutes. And here's what it looks like when it comes out of the oven. You have it bubbly on the outsides and crispy on the top. Nice and soft and yummy on the inside. Doesn't that just look so delicious? I can't tell you how amazing the house smelt that night. Um, as well as the ham that I used was a maple honey ham and it was so good. The potatoes had kind of that sweet um, maple taste and it was just delicious. So I would totally suggest that you try this a recipe if you like ham and you love potatoes I am a potato person I absolutely love them so I love it anytime that we have this at home it's just it is such a good recipe so I hope you get a chance to try it for those who are new to this channel and um, like this content you can hit that red subscribe button down below and you can become part of our YouTube family We would love to have you join us every single week um, for those who are not new and know about my spring cleaning videos that I've been posting I You've probably noticed that I haven't posted one within the past week and I do want to apologize for that I have been so busy in my church the past week with getting stuff ready for Easter. I'm in the cantata this year as well as I'm making costumes for the cantata. So I've just been crazy busy and I've not even been able to get to that. So I do apologize for that. Um, but I am getting back into home stuff the past few days I've been able to get back into the home and get some things done so those videos will be coming out this week but um, I hope you have a wonderful and blessed day and that you are able to um, just spend some time this week with your family just enjoy those little moments with your kids um, as well as your spouse I pray I Pray you have a wonderful week. Bye.